Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Christiane, otherwise known here as I Heart Airbrush, and today we gonna play with the Dynair candy collection, y'all. Yes, Dynair has relaunched a new version of their limited edition candy collection that was originally launched in 2014. Now, if you've been following me long enough, you know that I did a video on that candy collection, a whole series of videos, because I used to like to do a lot of series back then. Um, I did a whole series on the original candy collection, so it was really awesome and inspiring for them to go ahead and re-release the candy collection, of course, with two of the original limited edition shades, two which happen to be some of my favorites from that collection, so you know. I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. So if you want to see swatches of the candy collection as well as what I do with the new version, then please keep on watching. All right, so the candy collection. For those of you who are not diner fanatics like I am, <laughs> the candy collection was actually a collection that was limited edition launched originally in 2014. Yes, if you've been following me long enough, you know that I did a whole series on that collection and how to utilize it, of course, because I used to do a lot of series like that back then. I still kind of do now, but not as not as much, you know. Um, but anyways, back in 2014, I did do a series on it where I created a bunch of different looks utilizing the original candy collection. And I was so happy that Dynair decided to relaunch that collection, of course. So with this new collection, there are only two shades that were original to the 2014 version. And those two shades happen to be Be Mine, which is one of my all-time favorite Dynair shades. Like seriously, if there is a shade to ever have come out from Dynair, Be Mine is my absolute favorite, 100%. Okay, and now alongside Be Mine, another shade is also Cutie Pie, which is a beautiful light lilac shade. So those two are the only ones that are actually original from the first candy collection released in 2014. Now the new collection features shades that are pretty similar to those, but not quite. So I will go ahead and insert a video swatch that I posted to the Instagram, you know, the girl posted it to the gram, comparing the new version and the old version, as well as the two shades that are in both versions. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, so now that you've seen a comparison of the old version 2014 and the new version 2018, now it's time to actually play with the new version. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and give you quick arm swatches, you know the arm swatches, of the new version, which includes shades Aubergine, Cashmere, Be Mine, Cutie Pie, and Salmon. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches so we can get into the look, because I just wanna play with it, you know, because that's, that's candy collection. Old school Dynair, that's, that's my jam right there. So let's just go ahead and get into the swatches and let's dive into the look. All right, so let's get into the look now. So I already prepped my face. I went ahead and used my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime the lids, of course. And then the rest of my face, I already did, cause you know, this is about the shades in the candy collection, all right? So I went ahead and did my concealer using the Neutralizing Camouflage Foundation using the Soft Glow line, you know, my normal shades. Everything's gonna be in the description box below. And then I went ahead and contoured using Dark Almond, okay? So for the blush and all the rest of the eyes, we're going to use the candy collection and then we're going to finish out with brows and lips and then close this one out. So without further ado, let's get into the look, girl. Come on in. So the first thing you want to do for this look is just apply Cutie Pie to the transition crease area like so. You just want to stay light on your lever so that it's nice and evenly blended. Next, I'm going in with Aubergine here and just applying it to the outer corner, outer V, laying down that outline. Then I'll blend it into the natural crease, of course, in the outer corner of the lid. And then I'm also going to take the shade to the lower lash line like so, just using my shadow shield to protect the under eye area. Next, I'm going to go in with Salmon and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid like so. You just want to go ahead and build in layers, especially if you have a lot of texture on the lid like I do. So I'm just adding a layer, using the air to dry, adding a layer, and using the air to dry. Then, of course, dust it on your cheekbones as a blush because Sam makes a beautiful soft blush shade. Next, I'm going to go in with my favorite shade, Be Mine, and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of the mid lid, blending it in toward the outer corner of the lid and taking that all the way past the natural crease up into the transition crease area. Not covering cutie pie though, we want to leave that there. 
Okay, once I have B-mine on the lid, I'm just going to take it to the lower lash line like so, filling in those empty areas that we left on before. Okay, next I'm going to go in with cashmere and I'm just going to pop that on the tear duct. It's a beautiful, soft, shimmery shade, so it's going to add a nice glow when the light hits my eyes. So I'm just going to build it on my tear ducts like so, very lightly. And then uh, I'm going to apply a little bit on the lid just to add that pop of shimmer. And then once I have it on the lid, we're going to put it on the brow bone, you know, get my glow on. Yeah, girl. All right, so next is brows. And here I'm using Diner Brow Shade Dark Smoke and my favorite 8C stencil to fill them in. If you are interested in an in-depth brow tutorial, I will have the link to that video in the description box below. Okay, so now that the brows are filled in, we're going to start on liner. So here I'm using Diner Glamour Shade Jet Black and the Cat Eye End Stencil just to go ahead and lay it out like so. If you're interested in an in-depth airliner tutorial, that will also be in the description box below. So go ahead and check it out if you are interested. Okay, and then I'm just going to dust a little bit of Jet Black on the lower lash line like so, just to smoke it out a bit. And this is the finished look, y'all. Yes, it came out really beautiful and soft. I absolutely love the shades in this collection. They just all work so well together. Now, 2014 version though, that one has my heart. Okay, this is beautiful and all, but you know that 2014 version, that, that was where my heart was with the candy collection. It was absolutely stunning, but this one, no less gives you a beautiful soft look and I hope that you go ahead and pick up this collection especially to get your hands on Be Mine and Cutie Pie because those two are super limited edition and they will not be reproduced again as far as I know so make sure you pick them up before they're gone forever I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up I think they're only available in the quarter ounce sizes so you know your girl's gonna pick up like four of those and yes I'm gonna buy them okay <laughs> because I need to have these shades and I need to have as many of it as I can because I want it to last forever. Like I seriously, Be Mine's my favorite shade. I just, I'll never get over it. It's my love. It's my favorite shade that Dynair has put out and I am so happy that they brought it back. So it's limited time, you know, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this Dynair fanatic is gonna get her hands on it, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and inspiring, of course. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And as always, remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you are subscribed or if you choose to subscribe today, don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you get the quickest updates anytime I upload a video. All right, loves, my kids are calling, so I gotta go. So thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.